Hello everyone, just as promised, we are going to start focusing on the advent, uh, the advent journey a little more, uh, more than once a day, that we, uh, we can catch up and, um, you know, get to the, oh, okay, 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 this, this works out-ish, should be fine, alright, shouldn't, shouldn't be that bad, yes, we're supposed to be in day 13 already, uh, but anyways, uh, it's okay. Day six is fine. All right. So last time, last uh, um, day, I guess last video, day five, right, was about righteousness and how, uh, how the Jesus believing in Him, you know, He gave us that righteousness, that that um clean slate of how believing in Him, we start all over. We we are a new person. Our sins have been forgiven because we believe in in Jesus. He takes our place on the cross. He pays for all our sins. He, uh, you know, takes that punishment of death and um, pays for us, so we don't have to. And then three days later, resurrects. So, you know, it it, it just shows how powerful God is and how much He loves us and cares about us, and you know what He is willing to to do in order for his creation for us humans to be safe to be able to have that freedom of deciding if uh you want to have a relationship with god if you want him to be your lord and savior and i i really hope that you say yes that you invite him into your life and you accept him and that you repent for your sins but if you if you don't then um please consider it god is waiting he's being patient he has been patient with me for over 20 years, and I am so grateful that he brought me to Christ because it's been amazing. And here we are sharing the faith. Uh, I, I'm so grateful that I can uh, share these videos with you guys, with, with all of you, whether you're male or female or something else. Uh, I just want to thank you for, for being here, dedicating your time. And um, I just hope that you uh, get to learn a little more about God, a little more about Christ. And, um, you know, understand more about, um, you know, what it means, what it means to really um, focus on, on Christ when it comes to Christmas. It says here, the king above all kings. And, of course, they're talking about Jesus. So um, we're going to be talking about how Jesus is royalty, how he is the king of kings. And of course, back then he was only a baby when he was born. So uh, you know, he grows up to be this mighty person that is basically the son of God, basically, and um, God Himself. So he is King of Kings, and of course, Lord of Lords. With that said, let's let's bow our heads, close our eyes, whatever you want to do. If you can, uh, are in, depending on your situation. If you're driving, don't close your eyes. <laughs> Eyes on the road, you can listen, but don't close your eyes. You need to stay alert on the road. Stay safe. Stay alert. Keep your eyes open. All right. Uh, those that are not on the road, if you want to kneel down, what, bow down, whatever you want to do, whatever, however you pray, however you feel comfortable, you can be sitting, you could be standing, you could be laying down, what, whatever it is. Let's Let's just talk to God. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, so much for another day. I can't thank you enough for all the blessings you're giving me. Thank you so much. I've I've lately been praying for the two girls that my friend was going to evangelize. It's been a few hours since then, since the last video. And um, although they didn't show up, I, I want to thank God for uh, the beautiful, um, you know, moment uh, of, of having... Sharing a meal was, was my friend, Lord. Thank you so much because we were able to communicate. We were able to uh, talk with each other, share stories, and get to know each other. And and um, <laughs> I was nervous because she, she asked me about uh, uh, the plan of salvation, what, what it uh, includes. And, of course, repentance, Lord, accepting that we are sinners, that we have, um, you know, acted against you, Lord, that that separates us from you sin is it's terrible lord and and i want to thank you because you have forgiven me and you can forgive everybody's every sin lord if we repent if we want to be forgiven lord if we accept that we are sinners and want to be forgiven you 
are quick to forgive lord you are so loving so caring thank you so much thank you for the for the second one lord the second principle of of this plan of salvation lord that jesus is that substitute that he took our place in the on the cross lord that he died for our sins even though he was not guilty of any of it he took it among himself and paid it in full for this gift of salvation that you have offered us lord not by acts or or deeds or anything like that nothing can can pay for this this beautiful gift that you give us it's free and we don't deserve it lord thank you so much because you paid for my sins on that cross you died for me lord thank you so much for taking my place because you know that we could never we could never endure such pain and such suffering and and die for for someone else you you know us well lord and and just thank you for loving us so much to go that far for us lord thank you so much for for taking for for covering me lord for taking my place on the cross thank you so much and then three days later you resurrected you came back to life you mighty god showed your power your mighty power that only you have you are almighty no one compares you are the only one true god thank you for demonstrating your love and your power to us through your son thank you jesus again for for who you are for all the miracles all the signs thank you lord because you lived your life as an example for us to follow those that are followers of Christ, those that are Christians, those that believe, that are children of God. Thank you, Lord, so much for setting the example. And lastly, third, I I remember that it is to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior because it is through faith that we are saved because we were not there when he was crucified. We were not there when he resurrected. We were not there when he went to heaven again, when he returned to heaven promising to come back to earth again someday in the future. We were not there, and yet we believe. And that is faith. That is faith. I I know it is. And I can tell you right now, whoever's on the other side of the screen, if you believe in Jesus Christ, that he died on you on the cross and resurrected three days later, and that he has the power to forgive you, and you want to be forgiven of every bad thought, every bad thing you've done, everything and anything whatever sin it may be however big or small it might be i can assure you that god is ready to forgive you that he wants to forgive you that he can forgive you each and every sin he can forgive he wants to forgive you all you need to do is ask for forgiveness accept that you're a sinner that you have done bad things that that and that that separates you from god but jesus took our place on the cross he took our place and died for us he paid for our sins so we could no longer be slaves of sin but instead be free free of those that guilt that shame of sin and be able to have that relationship with god that beautiful relationship with God Father, with Him, Christ, the Son, God's Son, and of course, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, the one that helps us understand and and learn and, and grow in God, in His Word. But you have to take that last step, step number three, accepting Jesus as Lord and Savior, accepting Him as Lord, that He is in control, giving up your life to Him, and as savior that he took your place on the cross that he paid for your sins that through him you are saved you have eternal life and of course that he resurrected three days later if you believe that you are to be you are saved because by faith we are saved only he can give us eternal life only through him can we go to god father and I just pray so, so much that, that other people get to Christ, Lord. Please, just, just guide them to the church, Lord. Here in, in my city, Lord, guide them to our church, Father. Guide them, prepare their hearts. Whoever is next to, to hear the, the plan of salvation, Lord, 
guide them to our church, especially in this beautiful time, almost almost Christmas, Lord. Please guide them to the church, whatever day it may be. Please, Lord, help us and help us be ready for, for when the time comes when somebody asks us about our faith or why we are Christian or, or why we do this or why we do that or, you know, who do we serve, whatever it may be, Lord, prepare us, help us, give us the word. May it be you who speaks through us, Lord, and you we trust. Again, I want to ask uh, for the salvation of my family, my friends, um, my co-workers, my neighbors, the people at the church that are still not Christian, that are still not believers. Lord, help them. Bless them, Lord, just as you blessed me. Months I went for that to that church being uh, Catholic, and it wasn't until months later that uh, my friend evangelized me she told me about the plan of salvation and i believed lord and it was official i knew that i had received lord jesus as lord and savior and i knew that if i died the next moment i would go to heaven that i was saved lord thank you so much please help others as well be firm in their faith and be firm in the word and lord but most importantly that they know that once they have salvation lord that it is theirs no one can take it away, Lord, and that no one will be able to take us away from your mighty hand, Lord. If you are with us, who can be against us? You are way more powerful than this world. You are way more powerful than the enemy. You have overcome the world. You have overcome death and darkness. You are way more powerful, God. Help us to remember that we serve a powerful God, Lord. Help us remember that you can do anything, the impossible. Lord, help us remember each and every day that you are the one that created the universe, that you created us, that you have a plan for us. And help us to trust you, Lord, and to keep going strong, sharing with others the good news of the, of the gospel of Jesus, of your salvation, of your gift, your beautiful gift that you offer to every human being, every single one of them. Please, Lord, give us the opportunity to share with others and, and give us the words, Lord, so we don't, we don't worry about messing up or saying the wrong thing, but let it be you who speaks to them, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, I, I got a little sidetracked, <laughs> but uh, Lord, I, I, I hope you uh, bless this lesson and bless this beautiful person on the other side of the screen. May their life be filled with light, with joy, with hope. That beautiful hope that that you give us, Lord, help this person on the other side of the screen, Lord. Whoever's hearing me right now, Lord, I pray as a child of God, Lord, as your daughter, Father, that you bless this child, that you bless this person, whether this person is a teenager or an adult or a child, Lord. I don't know what people see my videos, Lord. I don't see who they are. I don't know them, Lord, but you do. You know their heart. You know what they've done. You know who they are, Lord, and you love them, Father. Thank you so much for loving us so much and for being so patient with us. Thank you, God. Thank you so much. You are wonderful, worthy of all praise of all of our time, Lord. Thank you so much for being so patient and, and caring and understanding, although we might not give you everything you deserve, Lord. Although we might give you the leftovers of our time or the leftovers of our attention, Lord. But you still love us. And you still work in our lives and you still bless us, Lord. And I just hope that you bless this lesson and you bless us. And you bless this wonderful person on the other side of the screen. Thank you so much. Bless them so much. Bless them. Bless their family. Bless their friends, Lord. Bless their whole community, their whole country, Lord. Bless them all. May they know your mighty power, Lord. Save them. Keep them safe, Father. Protect them. Work in their lives, Lord. May they know you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And of course... May this lesson go well, Lord. I, I keep forgetting to include the lesson. This is why we're here. <laughs> but, um, Lord, I just I just hope that um, this lesson teaches us something, that, that we understand what, what it means to have you, Christ, as, a, as our King, our Lord, our Savior. Please help us to understand this lesson. Holy Spirit, help us, show us uh, what we need to take away from this lesson, Lord. 
what um God what you want us God to um take away from this lesson what you want us each to take away from it what you want to us to understand and, and learn from it and what you're trying to tell us was this Lord uh, I pray that you help us um listen and, and understand Lord and And if possible, put this into practice in our daily living, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, we're good. <laughs> three prayers in one-ish. Part one, part two, part three. But here we are. And let's get started. The king above all kings. Psalm 72 begins with King David praying for his son, Solomon, to become a great king for the nation of Israel. As the psalm continues, David begins dreaming of the perfect king prophesying what would be true of the reign of Jesus. Over 950 years before the birth of Jesus, David saw the endless rule of the King of Kings. This king would be known for his compassion and his rescue of the needy and distraught. He would defeat oppression and violence, and it would be obvious that his people were precious to him. For these reasons, David declared that all kings would bow down to him and all nations would serve him. David recognized that deep compassion and care for God's people, as well as warring against and forever defeating oppression, were the signs of a perfect king, one whose moral judgment and selflessness would never be compromised. In addition to being the moment the Savior came into the world, Christmas marked the beginning of the legacy of eternity's greatest king. Jesus will continue to reign long after the kings and kingdoms of this world pass away, and we will get to live under the covering of his perfect love forever. Prayer. Jesus, I honor you as the king of my life here on earth and throughout eternity. I can't wait to experience the purity of your leadership as the brokenness of this world falls away. Thank you for coming to earth and beginning your journey to the throne among us. I'm so grateful you care for me deeply and will always advocate for me as my king. I love you and submit myself to your perfect ways. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, let's go to the next one. This is, um, I think this is the only one. This is the psalm that they were talking about, about um, King David. And um, this is, of course, part of the Old Testament. Jesus was not alive yet, so uh, this is Old Testament um, material. And, um, yeah, let's, let's start reading it. Endow the king with your justice, O God, the royal son with your righteousness. May he judge your people in righteousness, your afflicted ones with justice. May the mountains bring prosperity to the people, the hills the fruit of righteousness. May he defend the afflicted among the people and save the children of the needy. May he crush the oppressor. May he endure as long as the sun, as long as the moon, through all generations. May he be like rain falling on a mown field, like showers watering the earth. In his days may the righteous flourish and prosperity abound till the moon is no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. May the desert tribes bow before him and his enemies lick the dust. May the kings of Tarshish and of distant shores bring tribute to him. May the kings of Sheba and Seba present him gifts. May all kings bow down to him, and all nations serve him. For he will deliver the needy who cry out, the afflicted who have no one to help. He will take pity on the weak and the needy, and save the needy from death. He will rescue them from oppression and violence, for precious is their blood in his sight. Indeed. So I think that's it for the uh, scriptures. Yep, that's it. So, um, let's see. Well, let's pray out, I guess. <laughs> that was a little short. We spent, like, well, I spent, basically, um, a lot of time praying. And now, uh, we, we read about how he's king. And we, we read about the little psalm about how they described the king. And that's it, right? <laughs> and, of course, I don't want these videos to be super long. And, um, I, I love talking because, um, you know, I, lo I love talking and personally, that's my personality. Uh, I love to talk, especially if it's something I, I am passionate about and I like and, and enjoy. So, um, you know, no problem with me, but, you know, if you guys don't like it when I talk a lot or, you know, when I keep on going about praying, you know, just, just let me know, leave a comment. Uh, I'd love to hear about you guys. I, I'd love to hear the feedback. 
um, whatever it may be, good or bad, I can take it, and I can totally learn from it, so be honest, um, leave a comment, leave a like, whatever it may be, dislike if you want, it's, it's fine, I just, I just need feedback, but, um, I will continue to, uh, post these videos about the different days, and, um, because I, I want to share that with you guys, it, whether you're a boy or girl, I, I keep saying guys, but I, I mean the whole group. Everyone that's watching this. And, um, you know, just, just thank you. Thank you for, for being here. Um, I don't know what brought you here. I don't know if you're new here to the channel. If you have been following for a long time. If you're subscribed or not, it's it's fine. But I, I just don't want you to miss this. Because um, this is information that, um you know, can help you grow spiritually in, in God. Especially in His Word. And I myself am learning a lot. Uh, because I don't read the Bible as often as I should. I don't, I'm supposed to, you know, as children of God, we are to be, you know, deep in the word. Um, you know, meditating it and um, getting to know God like that. And spending time with him through through the Bible. And Oh, double yawn. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's, it's about to be 10 at night. So, yeah. But, um, you know, I just... You know, that's how you spend time with um with God. You you pray, you read the Bible, you worship, you you talk with others about God, you do fellowship, um, you know, things like that. And um I should be reading more of the Bible, but um I don't. And so when I do these devotionals I get to, to learn just like you and focus a little more on certain um scriptures and things like that. But um, I, I will try to read more of the Bible, and um, I will start reading a book that uh, has to do with, like, studying, so I'm going to look forward to that. I'm probably going to start tomorrow, because it's already 10, and um, I want to go to sleep so I can wake up tomorrow early and um, start a whole uh, routine, because, um, you know, we have two weeks and a half left of winter break, and I want to make the most of it. I want to get so much done. And of course, uh, play more Minecraft so I can finally find a village and uh, spend uh, Minecraft Christmas there. So uh, it's it's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. But anyway, guys, let me know what you thought. Any comments, any things that you would like to, uh, you know, tell me, let me know, suggest, whatever it may be. Let me know and may God be with you all. May he bless you so much. Thank you so much for being here, for spending half an hour here with me thank you so much and um i hope you enjoy and um if you would like any more um you know different content let me know i'm sure i have videos and the channel going through different uh chapters of the bible uh, we have minecraft series we have different uh games that i've been playing on my phone um different stuff like that whatever it may be i do have some um uh, shorts where uh you know i do like a random audio or like a song or you know i try to pray for you all and you know just things like that just random stuff some drawings i'll probably draw more um but we'll, we'll see i have to clean the house a little bit so we'll see what happens but um it'll be nice to uh you know oh there's also cooking cooking stuff in there not a lot but you know just here and there sprinkled around so anyways uh thank you so much again god bless you all and I really encourage you to, to uh, get to know Christ. And um, if you accept him or if you are a Christian, let me know. I'd love to talk about it and um, answer any questions you might have about uh, whether it's um, the life of a Christian or um, how to what to do now that you're a Christian or my testimony, whatever it may be. Let me know and um, I'd be more than happy to, to share uh, Christ with you all. Thank you again. Have a blessed day. May God be with you all. Good night.